one of the earliest jobs you can do in the garden um, is sow some summer cabbages. So, uh, you know, when there's not much else going on and it's uh, too cold outside to sow a lot of seeds in the soil, the soil's still too, too chilly and they won't germinate, um, you can get some sowing going on in the polytunnel or the greenhouse or even just indoors on a windowsill if you haven't got uh, anything else. Um, so, summer cabbages, lovely things, are packed with vitamins, vitamin C um, and antioxidants and things. So humble cabbage uh, deserves to be more widely grown, I think, and they're very easy as well. So I'm going to start mine off in some trays. Now you just, uh, I'd like to just sow a few at a time, really. So we've got a cell tray here with 20, 20 cells, which is more than enough for most people. 20 cabbages maturing all at once. <laughs> no one wants more than that. Um, but if you do, if you have got a big plot to fill and you, you know, big family to feed, obviously you can sow them in other things. Got a nice um, propagation tray here, which I often use for things like cabbages and lettuces, which uh, obviously gives you a lot more in one, one go and it's a propagator as well. Um, or you can just sow into pots. Again, if you're especially good if you're if all you've got to propagate your seeds is a window seal, you don't want those big trays all over the place. So just sowing into the top of a pot, again about 20 seeds into something that size, um, and then you prick them out later once they're big enough to um, to handle and put them in a tray like this. But um, I'm going to sow mine straight into a cell tray. Just got a peat-free multi-purpose compost there, or you could use a sowing compost. As I say, you can do this any time from February right the way through the spring for summer cabbages. A couple of varieties here. Um, there's Greyhound, which is a good sort of general purpose one, and you can sow that from February right through to May, actually, um, and that will crop right through, right through the summer into August for you. And there's another one here, Summer Jewel. So that's a, um, a clue's in the name there, Summer Cabbage. Um, and again, that one will crop right the way through, you can sow it from February, and that will actually crop right the way through into November, depending on when you've sown it. So, simply a case, tearing open your packet. And I just sow one seed per cell onto the top. As I say, you could scatter these onto the top of a pot. You could sow a couple um, into each cell if you're not confident that they're all going to germinate. But generally speaking, these sort of F1 hybrid seeds are really good. They're also quite expensive so you don't want to overdo it and they generally you'll get almost 100% germination hopefully I'm just going to give them a little little push in very gently like that and I'll put a little bit more compost over the top just to cover them give it a good water label it um, at this time of year if you're sowing early February time good idea to put them in a propagator don't need a lot of heat probably about 20 degrees C just until they start to germinate that'll be about seven to ten days once they're through um, then you can just move them out onto greenhouse bench don't really need any um, any heat after that they're very very hardy and they'll just slowly tick over once they get to about six inches tall they can be either planted out um, straight outside if you want to um, or you could move them on into pots if it's still very cold and wet outside and if you've got very um, wet clay soil for example and it's still too wet to plant then you could move them into pots and keep them inside for a little bit longer um, but otherwise just grow them on um, and they'll be cropping for you in the summer and we'll follow these on and um, see how we do later in the year